Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video and a couple that will follow, I want to do some some work with forms, okay? And I really would like to focus on the on the form skills. So we're going to work with a super simple database, and 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 it's going to be one that we create right here. So I'm going to create a brand new database. I'm going to call mine Simple Database with Forms, and it's going to be pretty small, so it's no problem typing in the data, okay? And I'm going to end up with a table here. I'll jump over to Design View, my first table. I'm going to have a table for employees. Click OK. And I'm going to have an employee ID. I'll use text for the data type. Employee name. That'll be text. And employee wage. OK, and that'll be a currency. And that's all I'm going to do there. I'm going to jump over to data sheet view after I save my table and my I'm only going to have like three employees. I'll have employee A, um, Jake, and their wage will be 24. Employee B, um, Jane, 28. And employee C, John, 32. Okay, so I've got my three employees here. And I definitely want to have at least one numeric or currency field that we can mess around with with our forms. So this table is done. Now I'm going to create another table. And this one will have uh, clients. So we're going to have a client ID. Let's do text for that. Client name. And let's do um, text for that also. Okay, let's make client ID a primary key. Jump over to data sheet view, save the table. This, of course, will be clients. And for client ID, let's also do some letters, but let's make sure we go a little bit different. How about um, client L? Let's do Ralph Co. M. Petco. N. Um, Tech Industries. O. furniture house. There we go. So now we've got our four clients. So go ahead and uh, close this one. And last but not least, we're going to have one table where we keep track of transactions. So clients can do work for employees, and it'll be based on a number of hours. And then we can start to do some pay wages and things like that. And this is where our forms are going to come into play. So I'm going to create one more table here in Design View. And this is going to be, uh, my, this is going to be transactions, let's say. So we'll do a transaction ID. Let's do auto number for that. It's going to involve a particular employee, an employee ID. That's text we know. And it's also going to involve a client ID. That's also text. It's going to involve, I know we should probably have date in here. Yeah, I don't know if it's going to make our lives easier, though. Yeah, what the hell, let's do it. Date. Nope, it's reserved words, so let me go ahead and put in transaction date. We'll do date time for that. And let's go ahead and put in transaction hours. I'm just going to put a number for this. We could put in start time and end time, but that gives us more complexity than what I want to focus on right here. So transaction, transaction date, transaction hours, that should be sufficient. Alrighty, so make sure transaction ID is the primary key and I'm gonna close this for now even though I'm not gonna put in any data and of course it'll save yes and I will call this transactions alrighty so clients employees transactions those are my three tables only two of them have data in them I'm gonna jump over to database tools and relationships Let's display all three tables and I'll put transactions in the middle employee ID to employee ID, enforce, create, client ID to client ID, enforce, create. So one client can work with many employees, one employee can work with many clients, that's a many to many relationship. We're going to resolve that with our little transactions table that keeps track of the unique relate or the unique combinations of employees versus clients. All right, so I think we're doing pretty good here. So I'm going to go ahead and close this. Yes, I will save the changes. So now we have our table with no transactions. 
Okay, so so far our setup is done and we've got that transactions table. Now I want to do a form for this one. And of course you know you can always select that table, head over to create, and if you just click on form, it's instantly going to make a pretty usable form for you. But let's go ahead and switch this up a little bit. I'm going to close that. I'm not going to save changes. And instead, I'm going to jump right over to form design. And this is a blank form. And I don't necessarily recommend you always creating a form from a blank form. Uh, because I think it adds more work than what's necessary. But if you truly wanted to customize, this is the way you'd go about it, to start from scratch, so to speak. Um, I'm going to go ahead and display my existing fields. Okay, right over here. I'll go ahead and show all tables, but I'm specifically interested in my transactions table. So I can see the fields involved in this in this transactions table. And this form is going to be used to enter in a new transaction. So here's how easy it is. You just take a particular field, drag it right over onto the design view, and I'm just kind of slapping them on there. Transaction hours. And that's how easy it is to make a form. So if I jump over to form view, you can see here's my form. It's pretty sloppy looking, but it's a form nevertheless. In the next video, I want to show you how to kind of clean this up and how we can start to put in some other things, like what if we wanted to keep track of uh, balances and totals and stuff like that. For instance, if we work with a certain employee at a certain pay rate for a certain number of hours, what was that, what was that charge for that particular transaction? So let's pick this up in another video.